So good evening, everyone. My name is Darren Barker, uh, Principal Digital Consultant working for Mott McDonald. Today's presentation is called The Devil is in the Our standardization will boost project delivery. So today's agenda will go through a speaking biography, starting over again and again, providing clarity, data completeness and validation. And so after becoming an early doctor of BIM on projects such as my Sharab station in Doha and Victoria station upgrade in London, I'm currently leading the BIM delivery of the two area north. I've always had a passion for standardisation and compliance, and this has led to the development of a common level of detail, often known as LND. Following the significant measurables this is delivering, I'll be sharing the story with you today. Starting over again and again. Why are you all guilty of continuously reinventing the world? To ask yourself why is this? Every project we have generally has its own set of CAD standards, BIM requirements, codes, all with slight nuances. So why do we always start over again and again? Now let's look at LOD. If I Google BIM LOD, the results are interesting. Guess what? There's no actual detail behind any of it. I will now talk you through how we define this, and I hope you find the results interesting. Providing some clarity, ISO 19650 says a set of clear definitions for informational projects is required in order to work efficiently. We responded to this by developing a component. Code. What standards should we use? American Institute of Architects is too generic, and MBS is no longer maintained. So by using MBS as a baseline, we define every graphical component covering 11 disciplines. Project disputes. Now, without developing this from the outset, this will undoubtedly lead to disputes. So let's get the basics right. Let's define the LOD so explicitly there is no need for it. We don't want to provide too much. We don't want to provide too little. We need to provide just the right amount. Our interpretation of LOD 400 covers 11 disciplines from architecture all the way through to tunnels. What we've undertaken is to graphically define each component, what it looks like and the information it holds. And also what information we can extract from these objects. More and more so nowadays, our contractors we work for extract information. They want the volumes, they want to know how much concrete there is, know how many powers there are, how many parapets there are, how many types of beams do we have. Without having this standard baseline, there's no way we could achieve that. There's lots of other things we can do from this. It's not just about having consistency in how we model, lots of other downstream processes this information can be we have a set of clear definitions we have standardized lod we now have an agreed baseline what we're able to do now is actually check the data and validate any objects that we've modeled we're able to automate extraction from our 3d models that we've developed give insights to the whole team on our performance and expose how compliant our models are we need to be able to achieve 100% completeness with LOD. We hand anything over to our client. Standard objects, by creating standard objects that are used time and time again, that are modeled time and time again, say for parapets and beams, we can validate the use of these. Have they been used from a standard component library that we have? So what we've been able to produce is a Power BI dashboard. This extracts all the information from our CDE and puts it into a dashboard. There's lots of filters here. You can filter by area, by model, by discipline. We're able to expose how complete our models are in relation to our LOD 400 definition. We use the MoArta Component Center, which is part of our digital delivery tools. We're able to place in here, model and place in here standard objects that are used time and time again by our modelers instead of having to remodel things again and again. This gives us consistency. We're able to add standard information to these objects. Some of these are parametric, some of these are static, but it means the users have confidence in actually placing these objects in their models. What we're able to do is actually validate, have these objects been used in our 3D models, say for example a bridge, have they got the right parapets in, have they got the right beams in, we're actually able to delve into that information now. We've got standard data, we've got standardised components, we can now validate the use of where these reside, 
Have they got the right parapet in? Have they been modelled correctly? Our contractor that we're currently working for needs to know how many parapets are we've got. We can confidently say to them, this is how many you have, just by having all these clear definitions at the outset. <coughs> just some closing notes. As an industry, why is LOD not precisely defined? Without this, leads to misinterpretation and a lack of understanding. How can we achieve net zero without a standardised approach to modelling? We need to start getting the basics right. Focus on pre-construction activities. Define LOD explicitly. And just a closing note, really, just to take, have this thought to take away. Think of the benefits that this could give us. So thank you for your time today. Uh, I'm happy to take any questions at the end of this presentation.